Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have been a little MIA for a little while, but I'm here, I'm back. I'm trying to get really like back on schedule. We have so much stuff going on behind the scenes. So if you guys follow us on all our social media, I'm sure you guys can kind of get a little glimpse of that. If you do not already, make sure you guys follow us to get a little glimpse into our life. But we are gonna be doing Britney's nails. I'm always really excited to do her nails and I know you guys love her just as much as I love her. We're gonna be not doing green. We gotta give her some credit. I think she like convinced herself throughout the entire appointment that it was fine that she was choosing the right color. But we're gonna be doing red and she did also request some angel numbers. So if you're not familiar with what that is, I'm gonna be explaining that in the video as well. So if you guys are curious, make sure you guys listen to that. But as of right now, we have a lot going on. We got Vita Bella going, we got classes. I just did Premier Orlando. Um, we're gonna, we did vlog that. So I will be sharing that with you guys on my family vlog channel. I have an upcoming class in LA alongside Tao from Not Polish. Comment down below if you guys are gonna be there. I'm so excited to meet everyone. I feel like that's like the most rewarding part of it all. I love meeting you guys and just seeing you guys grow from the beginning of the class to the end. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Video. I hope you guys learn a ton. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, we are starting off by removing my client's current design. She did have a beautiful iridescent type of design on her nails. We did it against clear and then we added some topical nail art. If you guys are interested in checking that video out, I will leave it linked for you guys so you guys can look at that as I did previously show that on my channel. But we're just starting off by removing her design. I am taking my rechargeable e-file from Kiara Sky in the color Unicorn. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that at a speed of about 10,000 RPMs. And I am using their five in one bit in medium grit. It is my favorite bit of all time. I feel like no matter how many other bits I try, this is always like my go-to staple bit that I use for finish filing, removing designs and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing that and then we're gonna be prepping the nail for a fill. Now this is absolutely just preference, but I'm going in with my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file and I'm just gonna be filing the sides to reshape them into a super sharp stiletto shape. 
Now you could always leave this towards the end, bypass this step and prep your natural nail. However, I'm always eager to like bring the nails back to life very quickly. So that's kind of why I always reshape them before I go in with filling the nails. I feel like it just makes me feel so much better about the work that I'm about to create. So we're gonna go ahead and just continue to file the sides. Make sure that they are super, super sharp as I love doing my stilettos super, super sharp. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen them up and then we're gonna be prepping that natural nail. I'm going in with my mandrel bit and sanding band, both from Profiles Backstage. I'm just gonna go in at a speed of about 4,000 RPMs, and I'm just very quickly buffing off the shine from her natural nail area. And then if she has a little bit of lifting, I will go ahead and remove that at this point. She had very minimal lifting, so I didn't have to overly file that acrylic in that area too much, but I am just focusing on pushing back her cuticle area and buffing off the shine from her natural nail. Now my client did request that I did not touch her cuticles this time. She's been going through it, so she asked me if I could just bypass that step. So I went ahead and just went in with my needle bit very carefully around her natural nail up near the cuticle area. And I'm doing this simply to ensure that she doesn't come back with like crazy lifted nails. But we are gonna be skipping the cuticle ball bit portion of it. Um, I normally implement that into my prep process, but because she asked me not to touch her cuticles, I went ahead and just skipped that. That step so I'm going in with the lint free wipe and a little bit of young nail swipe dehydrating the nail and prepping for our primer now I'm taking my triple X bond from not polish this is my favorite primer to use I'm just going in on her natural nail portion of her nails now I'm taking the clear acrylic from not polish we're gonna be doing a very quick fill super super simple process I feel like once you get your liquid to powder ratio down your fills go by so fast honestly speaking I feel like the process of me prepping her nail for the fill always takes me longer than the actual fill itself so we're gonna zoom through this process I'm taking about a medium-sized bead of acrylic and just infilling the area that has her natural nail exposed and then I'm just quickly blending it downwards towards the tip of her nail now if I do need to rebalance the nail I'll go ahead and do it at this point so I basically would just take another bead of acrylic place it wherever I feel like needs to be brought up a little bit higher and then blend it upwards and blend it downwards you'll see me do it a few times throughout this process but for the most part we're just doing a simple film. Once everything is nice and dry, we're gonna go in and file her nails and shape them up. So for this process, I am using the five in one bit. I actually switched it out from the rose gold one to this one because I misplaced the rose gold one. I don't know where I put it on my desk, but to not waste time trying to find it, I just went ahead and took another one that I have ready to go. This one is the purple like unicorn one from Kiara Sky, same grit in medium. And now I have my e file speed at about 10 to 11,000 RPMs. Just going quickly around that cuticle area so that it's nice and flush. And then I'm gonna be going in with my hand file. I've mentioned it before, I've been obsessing over hand fouling the nails. I just feel like you just get such a crisp shape. So we're gonna be doing just that for her nails. I'm taking my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file, fouling the sides, and then very quickly I'm gonna go over the surface. Since I did already roughly go in with the five in one bit, I'm just gonna go in and make sure that everything is nice and smooth using my hand file.
Now very quickly, we're gonna be buffing the nails using my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage. I'm just making sure that everything is nice and smooth. We are actually gonna be going in with some gel polish for today's video. So I wanna make sure that that surface is smooth and I can lay that on there nice and evenly. Now, the only reason why I decided to do gel polish is because I don't do gel polish. So I am challenging myself to do some different stuff for you guys. So instead I did obviously ask her if it was okay. She kind of said to do whatever I wanted and I felt comfortable with. So I went ahead and just did the quick fill. We're gonna be going in with this beautiful nude color from Kiara Sky. It is a little bit on the sheer side, but I actually preferred that for this look. I'm just gonna be adding a thin layer of that. You can obviously go in with a second layer once it's cured, but for the purpose of the design, I wanted to go ahead and leave it a little bit on the sheer side. So I'm just adding one thin coat Curing that in the light for a full minute. I like to do the 90 second option on my rechargeable LED light from Kiara Sky, but personal preference, that's just mine. You can always just go in with your minute timing. Now once our gel polish is cured, I'm gonna be going in with my nail art. And for this process, I am using, of course, none other but the frosting gel paints from Profiles Backstage. They are my go-to and favorite if you guys have watched my other videos. These are always the ones that I always reach for. So I'm gonna go in with the red frosting gel paint. And of course, I'm just using that with my McCart brushes that are my absolute favorite from Amazon. So I'll leave those linked down below as well. But if you haven't purchased these nail art brushes, please do so. They're very inexpensive. They get to your house very, very quickly. And the quality is perfection. I only had to replace mine after like five years of using my old ones. So these are my new ones, but they work really, really, really good. So I am actually recreating a design that she brought in from a photo from a different nail artist. So I will leave them linked down below, give them credit to this design. I tweaked maybe like some minimal little details from it, but for the most part, it is like a recreation down to the T from them. So I'm gonna go in and do some swirls, some dots, and for the majority of the nails, we're going in with like some leaf details, obviously still in the color red. And then we're gonna be adding some angel numbers to her nails as well. She requested on this hand me to do four, and then on the other hand, we did fives. So we're gonna be doing this super simple nail art, some dots, and I feel like it just turned out super, super cute. I definitely appreciate, and I want you guys to take a moment and to thank her for not choosing lime green as she typically does. She was super, super proud, and I think she had to like work herself up to the end of the appointment and keep telling herself that it was fine that she didn't hit lime green. So we appreciate you, Brittany, for not choosing lime green for this design because it came out super, super good using the red. So again, I'm just gonna be adding little leaf designs on the nail, kind of alternating them from like up top to the bottom and just changing them out throughout each nail. And then we're gonna be adding those numbers. Now, if y'all are curious, just like me, I have heard about angel numbers before, but I've never really done research to really understand it or anything until today. So I went ahead and looked up the meaning for you guys. She did also explain it to me while I was doing her nails, but I didn't like grasp everything. So angel numbers are essentially when like you keep looking up at something, say the time, and it's always like 111 or 222, 333. So if you look up those numbers, there's always like a meaning behind it. And it is thought to, or you know, known to be like a message from the universe. So 444 is a sign that one could keep faith and that the angels are watching over you. 
And then 555 is all about transition and welcoming change. So these are the two numbers that she chose and reason why we're putting them on her nails. So like I said, this hand is going to have 444 and then her other hand is going to have 555. And the beautiful little flower details and swirls and all that just make it like super whimsical in my opinion i think it was like a really good design to do on her nails i absolutely loved it so if you guys are interested in this subject look it up i feel like i always find these type of topics very very interesting and just to learn new things it's definitely very fulfilling so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to do the design like i said typical little flower leaves and then the numbers and a bunch of dots and we're just going to repeat that throughout the nails as well And of course, always remember to cure in between the nails if you feel like you need to do that. Like if you think you're going to mess up one nail or the other, go ahead and just cure it in the light. Be safe. Work on the other hand while you're waiting for that one to cure. But I was a little bit more on the comfortable side with doing this design because I thought it was a little bit more on the simple side. So I went ahead and actually did all of the nails on this hand and then I cured them all at once. But for the thumb, I'm just basically gonna go in with a combination of all of the little designs that I incorporated throughout the other nails. Um, we got the swirls, we got the leaves, we got the dots. And then we went ahead and cured it in the light again for the 90 second option on the LED light from Kiara Sky. And now we're going in with our top coat. This is Not Polishes Gloss It, their shiny top coat. She always gets shiny top coat, which I appreciate. And I know you guys appreciate it as well because I do a lot of matte designs. We're going to go ahead and add a thin layer of that. Focus a lot on the areas that have nail art because you want to fully cover that. And then we're going to be popping it in the light again for the 90 second option on the Kiara Sky Light. That basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.